Here are seven ways to counter turtling, presented by Fortnite Master. Our last video guide gave tips on how and why you should turtle. This one is all about how to counter people who are turtling, including some ways to brute force your way into someone's box, strats for claiming builds, some effective wall edits, and ways to counter aggressive edits from the player turtling. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. We're gonna start off with the easiest and most straightforward ways to counter turtling, brute force. When we say brute force, we're not talking about spraying builds until you run out of ammo, but rather using things like phasing tricks, explosives, and heavy snipers to force your way into builds or force a reaction from the player turtling. One way to brute force your way into turtles is with phasing tricks. These are tricks that let you phase through somebody's wall even if they're turbo building. As a note, these tricks should be your last resort because they leave you extremely vulnerable and can easily be countered if the enemy knows what you're doing. But if you know the enemy is absolute one shot and is healing up, or for some reason your only choice is to force end the engagement immediately, these phase tricks can come in handy. One of the easiest ways to phase through somebody's wall is with an edited floor. Edit your floor so only one square is highlighted. Then, stand against the railing of your edited floor and hold forward while pickaxing or spraying the wall you want to phase through. Just be careful, because this trick requires you to walk straight forward from a specific spot, so they can line up an easy shotgun shot if they see it coming. Another pretty easy way to phase through walls is with a forward facing ramp. Build a ramp above you, stand against the wall, and jump right before you destroy it with your pickaxe. The ramp should knock you forward slightly, allowing you to phase through the wall. The next way uses a pyramid that you're phased into. Standing in front of the wall that you want to phase through, place a pyramid down beneath you. You need to be standing inside the pyramid so it doesn't become a solid. Edit and reset it if you have to. Then, pickaxe the wall, and on the last hit, walk into the wall so the pyramid becomes a solid. The timing for this can be tricky, as you need to destroy the wall and have the pyramid push you forward at the exact same time for it to work. You can do something similar with a backwards ramp too. Phase yourself into the backwards ramp in front of the enemy's wall. Then walk forward and destroy the wall at the same time the ramp pushes you forward to become solid. Explosives are another common way to counter turtling because well, they can blow up an entire one by one. Still, there are some cool tricks you can use beyond just randomly tossing or shooting explosives at a box. To start, there is still a way to blow up a one by one with an RPG while standing on top, even though they patched out the original version of this trick. Before, all you had to do was stand on top and aim at another side of the pyramid to avoid splash damage. Unfortunately, it's not this easy anymore. The new version of this trick is definitely more precise, as you have to stand and aim at pretty specific spots on the pyramid. You need to stand at the very edge of one side, just off center, so you can shoot the RPG over the pyramid at the opposite corner. Then, aim at the tip of the far corner and shoot. If done right, you'll avoid splash damage and destroy the entire box. We would recommend trying this a couple of times in creative before bringing it into a real game, as it's easy to mess up and damage yourself. Clingers and Dynamite are also great for destroying turtles and forcing the other player to react. Both of these items are good at destroying builds in general, but against a player boxed up in turtling, they're extremely useful. If you stack either of these explosives on top of a turtle, they will blow up the box and the remaining explosives will fall into the one by one and onto the player if they fail to escape. This is a great way to get some free damage without putting yourself at risk. Of course, most good players are going to edit out as soon as they hear explosives on their roof, so be prepared to react after throwing them. Even if the player avoids the damage, they will be forced out of the turtle, giving you a chance to shoot them while they're scrambling to escape. Finally, grenade launchers definitely aren't ideal for close range battles, but there is one easy way to use them. Just place two walls on top of a turtle and shoot a grenade into the corner you just created. The grenade should stay put and destroy the box when it explodes. And just like clingers and dynamite, you can shoot multiple grenades that will destroy the box and then drop on enemies below. The Heavy Sniper counters turtling because it can one-shot any fully built wood, brick, or metal wall. Usually when you try to claim a wall, it takes multiple pickaxe wings or shots to destroy, giving the other player time to notice and react by turbo building that wall. The Heavy Sniper gives you the element of surprise because you can instantly break and claim any one of the opponent's builds without tipping them off before. When using the Heavy Sniper to breach turtles, you can either no-scope a build and walk right in, or claim it for yourself and then make an edit play. 
If you know the opponent is easily one shot, then just walk right into their box and pop them in the face. We'd only recommend doing this when they're one shot because otherwise they would get a chance to react by trading back or worse, throwing a couple of spike traps down while you're in their box. If they're not one shot, then just use the heavy sniper to claim any builds you want so you can make an edit play or force them to leave the turtle. So heavy snipers are good, but you know what's better than one heavy sniper? two heavy snipers. If you're playing duos or squads and two people have heavy snipers, you can make some pretty cheesy plays on anybody who's turtling. If you notice a turtle, you can see the player through the wall, coordinate with your teammate to line up the shot, and then both shoot at the same time. One bullet will destroy the wall and the other will destroy the player. Now that we've given you a few ways to brute force your way into turtles, we're gonna cover the more meticulous method of claiming walls, making edits, and preparing for counterplay. Knowing the best ways to claim builds, aka destroying an enemy's build and replacing it with your own, is the first step. This is an integral part of countering players to turtle. Claiming their builds precedes any edit plays you want to make and essentially force the other players to play from an awkward position or leave their turtle. Before we get into any specifics though, you should know that it's a good idea to cover your other angles from third parties when trying to claim builds, especially if you're in high traffic areas or it's endgame and the circle is small. Some well-placed walls and maybe a ceiling should do the trick. And it's more than worth it so you don't get sniped while running and jumping on somebody's box in the open. Now, claiming builds can be tricky if the other player is holding turbo build. This is where you have to get a little creative. It helps if you constantly change angles and switch up which builds you're trying to claim. Make them track you all around their box if they want to keep their builds to themselves. Getting good at this just comes with practice and a natural instinct you'll build up as you do more. Still, there are a couple of specific tips we can give you. The first is to get two adjacent builds to one hit with your pickaxe, then try juking the other player as to which one you're going to destroy and replace. This works with two walls, although the angle to place your own wall is kind of precise if you're standing at the corner. You can also do it with a roof and a wall. This one works well because the other player has to switch between two different builds depending on which you go for. There is also a tricky way to confuse your opponent by claiming their floor through their pyramid. You can pickaxe the edge of a floor even if it has a pyramid on top of it. The player turtling will be holding turbo build on their pyramid, so you'll be able to claim the floor as yours. Now, this doesn't give you a direct edit onto them, but it can cause confusion, especially if you edit the floor when they still think it's theirs. Alternatively, you can just claim the floor and keep it so they can't edit out the top of their turtle when you go for a claim on their wall. After you claim a wall, the next step is to make an edit play. There is no one edit that is always the best choice. You have to decide which edit to make depending on the situation. Couple things to keep in mind when deciding. Try to make an edit that gives you the right hand peek, and don't play into their hands with a predictable edit. You'll get better at making good edits as you do it more. The most important thing is to not make predictable edits. When you make an edit, it takes a second to pull out your gun again so you can shoot, and if the other player is waiting for the edit, they'll be able to shoot before you every time. One thing that you have working in your advantage is that when you claim and edit somebody's wall, they'll usually display some level of panic or urgency, meaning you don't need to rush a bad angle. You can make an edit that doesn't immediately leave you vulnerable, then take the peek a second later. You can make an edit and wait for them to panic shoot, then peek the angle and get a free shot. There are plenty of things you'll figure out if you play around with it. Another good example being the edit slash reset play we covered in the last hurling guide. We will give you guys one specific edit that is extremely effective at getting a free shot without the other player trading back. Credit to Nepal Chemist on Reddit for this one. Once you claim a wall, you want to pre-edit the top three squares on the side of the box the opponent is standing in. Then jump up, confirm the edit near the top of your jump, and shoot just over the corner of the edited wall. You can usually get a free shot because they won't expect the angle, and even if they do, you're only exposing a very small portion of yourself to get the shot. Another problem you'll run into relatively often is making the edit only to have your opponent jump on their own ramp, blocking your angle. The preemptive way to counter this is to place your own pyramid inside their box, which you can actually place through the wall. If you look down and to the left, you can get an angle to place a pyramid inside their box. Note that this won't ever work looking to the right, you'll have to be looking left. If you made the edit and they already built their own ramp, you can go for a more traditional replays. Spray or pickaxe their ramp through a window edit, for example. Then just place your own pyramid as soon as you destroy the ramp. 
This replace is typically much easier than claiming walls because the angle to instantly rebuild your own ramp from within a turtle isn't as easy to hold. After understanding how to claim builds and make edit plays, it's important to take a step back and learn how to play a little more off the cuff. Rarely are you going to run into a turtle and have everything go your way, from claiming their wall to making the edit and getting a good shot. The turtling player is going to fight back with aggressive edit plays. It's your job to anticipate these plays and be ready to counter them. It's pretty common for players turtling to try going for an edit shot when they see you have your pickaxe out. And since it takes a minimum of two swings to destroy a wall, you're giving them a good opportunity to make an aggressive edit if you're not prepared. Against really good players, we'd recommend pulling out your gun in between each pickaxe swing. That way, if they try making an edit after your first swing, you'll be ready and waiting. And in this case, you'll have the advantage because it'll take them a split second to pull their gun out after editing. You also need to be prepared to shoot if they try editing out of their turtle. This, like many other skills in Fortnite, comes with practice. You need to get used to tracking and predicting the movements of players who are turtling. Take note of the signs that somebody is going to edit out at the top or the side of their turtle, so you can read them and be ready to shoot. Usually, if an enemy jumps on their own ramp, they are going to edit out the top in the direction the ramp is facing, where you should already be waiting with your shotgun. Along with being prepared for aggressive edits, it's also good to know how to preemptively block enemies who will try editing out and going for high ground. Before you start trying to claim any walls, you can put your own box on top of their turtle. This completely blocks anybody who tries to edit out the top of their turtle to retake height. You can also block any of their attempts to edit out the side and go for height. Just place your own pyramids on each side of the box's roof. If they try to edit out any one of the sides and ramp up, your pyramid blocks them. And if they try and tunnel in any direction, you'll already own the pyramid to use to your advantage. They might even think it's theirs, in which case you could use the trick we covered earlier where you claim their floor through the pyramid to get the double edit. The options in turtle battles seem endless, so play around with the different plays, try new things, and figure out what exactly works for you. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted whenever we release a new video. If you love our content, feel free to share it with your friends, family, distant relatives, your dog, or any other loved ones. From all of us at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.